I'm looking around the world. Where are you getting a better winger than him? A right winger than him? I got, I got a right winger for them. Go on. Um, Pepe. Pepe. Pepe improves Arsenal. I mean, Man United. We can ignore him. We can ignore him. We can ignore him. He's having a tear. He's having a tear. I can't tier. do it, man. I can't. You can't do it. What do you mean? Do you Anthony do? Pepe improves Arsenal. Man United. Man United. But he doesn't even improve. Come on, bro. Come yeah, on. Of course he doesn't improve Arsenal because we've got Saka. All right, one second. Let me just call the stroke doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Done 165 episodes, that's mad. No, it's been way more than that. Like you said, since this. Since what? Filthy at five. But it's 52 a week, 52 a year. We skip Christmas. Because we are Joel Witness. <laughs> <laughs> that is scary. There's a family walking around today that claim they've got the blood of Jesus in them. Because the story is, Jesus slammed Mary and she had the baby. Jesus slammed Mary? His mum? Mary Magdalene, you idiot. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got to be clear. The Bible, there's two Marys. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Look, Jesus slammed Mary. How? Magdalene. That's Magdalene. Say Magdalene. No, Magdalene. Mary Magdalene. And who's yeah. she? The prostitute woman that was helping him. Back his, in the day? Yes, his brethren. There's a, there's, a, there's a fairy that he slammed her and they got a baby. So there's a family. Man said fairy. Fairy. <laughs> this is what it is. There's a fairy. Same. Yeah. Uh, very different. There's a fairy, yeah? That... The, there's a family walking around now with Jesus' blood in them. It's, it's something to do with the Da Vinci Code. What do they pay him? What do they what? pay? Yeah. What do you mean? There was money. What, in the Jesus days? Yeah. I, I didn't know that. You know Jesus was born in an inn because the hotels were all full up and that. So people paid. They weren't just rocking they up. They had hotels like, back then, man. Yeah. I wasn't saying that. I, 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 listen, I don't know the story in it, but the Jesus I thought was like... They had money way before the that. The Jesus I thought... <laughs> this is mad, and I'm not. I'm saying. I'm saying real ignorant here, and I don't mean. Wasn't to. Mansa Musa the richest man of all time? Yeah, go. And that's gold. a long time that's before gold. Jesus. That's, is it? Yeah. Nah, Mansa Musa wasn't before Jesus, bro. He was after. You sure? Yeah, because he was. He wasn't. He wasn't AC. He wasn't AC. No, he was. He was. He was AC, bro. He wasn't BC. AD. No way. AD is yeah after death. AD CD. And I Domina. It's a good band. Yeah, man. I like the t-shirts. AD CD. <laughs> <laughs> that's like battle. That's like. Battle of Hastings times. No, that's 1066. Yeah, but I'm saying round them times. Isn't it? <laughs> so <laughs> Battle of Hastings was after Jesus. What? I swear that's 1066. Yes. Yes. Jesus is zero. Yeah. Oh wow. Allegedly. You thought Battle of Hastings was before Jesus. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, I was asking the question. I'm just saying I was making sure. Because that because I get it confused. Medieval times, that's after Jesus. Medieval. It's all after Jesus. It's not all after Jesus. You're reading the wrong books. This is what I'm saying. All them times that you're talking about, it's all after Jesus, bro. Everything that, everything that he was talking about is all after Jesus, bro. Well, no, like Roman Empire, Greek that's Empire. Before, that's, that's all before. before. Julius before. Caesar. Yeah. Gladiator, gladiator. That's before, I think. Jesus came, Rome, Roman, Roman Christ, they was beefing. They didn't like right. that. Christ was about what the Romans was about. I think Jesus confused with God. What? <laughs> right, right. Now, I don't, know, I don't know whose time was before God. He switched. God switched on the PlayStation. Yeah, okay, gotcha. And Jesus was Mario. Mario's not even on PlayStation. Oh Do you think Jesus had a child? Did Jesus have a child? He was a virgin, bro. If he did have a child, you would have met him in a studio. Is that what they say? Yeah, Jesus was a virgin. He's a king. He, 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 <laughs> Is that what they say? Yeah, because he concentrated on giving out the word, didn't it? I'm being serious. I, I genuinely heard that Jesus was like a bad boy like growing up. What, it, it was a city boy. They're trying to say Jesus was a city boy. <laughs> you heard that Jesus was a bad boy growing up. Because you don't hear nothing about Jesus as a kid, do you? Like as a boy. No, they, it skips a lot of his years, the book. Yeah. Well, I heard those years is... Who did you hear it from? My uncle. He's a pastor. Surely man must know though. Not know, but they must say that. He was like, he was decent at ball, like something. <laughs> but, right, so you're going to tell me that there was football before Jesus? When he, he, when he, when he a carpenter or something? When he meant to be a carpenter? Yeah, he was a, he carpenter. Was a carpenter. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, see, well, we don't know how he got into that. What, tic what tickled his uh, fancy and his interest? Goliath. His dad, I think. Trojan horse. His dad made the PlayStation, so. His dad made the police station? PlayStation. Oh. Did they have police? I, I, I want to know how when- Yes, they had police. What? In sandals? <laughs> Shut up, man. How are they running people down in sandals, Rude Way? No one off. runs though, everyone just fast walks. 
<laughs> Boys, good news. Mark's back. I was hoping that's where you From went. From the stairs. From the stairs records. Look at the clap you got. Weak. Yeah, man and one, man and one. Like my ticker. <laughs> we, didn't, we, didn't believe, we didn't believe he was gone, you know. He said weak like my ticker. He was milking it, though. I'm How? Never, bro, you you was basically doing the one where, like, when you land in a city and you'd be like, right, who's around? Like, that's what you was basically You landing at the hospital, who's about? Yeah. Who's about next door? What ward are you in? Someone, tweet, someone tweeted, Mouse, we get it, man. You're in the hospital, man. Lock off. <laughs> I, got a, I got a G of care to let the people know. Well, go on. You get what I'm trying Not to say. really. Not really. No? <laughs> <laughs> but how you feeling, though? I'm good, man. Mark said he had a stroke, doctor. What? Is that like a fluffer? I had a whole stroke team. What what, what was the stroke called? It was called a TIA, TIA stroke. A TIA, yeah. The TIA. That's what it's called. It's called a TIA. 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 So it's like <laughs> a mini stroke. A TA. Yeah, the yeah. TIA stroke. He was assisting at a TIA and a stroke doctor. <laughs> the stroke came with assistance. I didn't give you the update, man. I'll let you know now. I never had one. But after, after, after the CAT scan, after the MRI, and they're looking deep diving, they're saying I never had that. But obviously, it's the. It's the no, but you let us think you had a stroke for what you could have told us. I thought I had a stroke. The whole left side of my body was messed up. I couldn't talk. I've worked with Margs for a few years now. Margs just had a second episode in the car. There was no medical condition. He was just a bit tired. He did a draft in his head. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the result. I've seen it. I've seen it. Nah, man. There's issues. There's stuff going on up there. That's why I'm back on meds and that, There's man. stuff going on up there. <laughs> Look, I'm straight. I'm on the men. You get me? I'm glad you not cared. You are laughing, but you not cared. Nah, nah, we nah, cared, definitely, bruv. Definitely. We definitely cared. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> said, no. said I'm straight. I'm on the men. All right, cool. Hey, did you really feel like yo? This is it for me. No, not like I was dying. I, I, he was I in the group. He, I <laughs> he was telling the story as it was happening. <laughs> he was like, "Boys, I can't send this message with my left hand." Brother, do you know, do you know how strokes work? Do you know how strokes work? No, they could just strike you. Bam, you're gone. Do you know they could just strike you? The only reason why I was scared, yeah, I was with my youth. It was just me and my son. You get me? So that's why it was worrying for me. That's why I was like, Did he help? <laughs> <laughs> We're all good, man. Let's toast to my life. Yeah, man. Hundreds. Toast. Yeah, man. Toast to Margs, man. To Margs. We'll talk more about him in the intro, by the way. But you know what? This is important. Today's Feel Fit 5 is sponsored by HelloFresh. Wow. Ooh, a good brand. I'm an advocate. I've, I've spent loads of money. But you don't know how much I hate when you lot order food to the office. And I don't mind it downstairs, but when you bring it to the table, it, it's jarring. Yeah. Obviously, so, Dan, Lippy, Muggs, um, PK. But it's not just because- Why are you bringing my name? Yeah, you're the worst, bro. But not just because it's mad, because the audio listeners, they hear the, the oh, noise. Oh, SMR. They, they, they really don't like it. But also there's just better ways to do it. There's healthier, more convenient, and better value ways to do it. And that's HelloFresh. Dan put me on to HelloFresh. Yeah, it's good. Big HelloFresh advocate. And we're going to put the crowd on. But before we put the crowd on, we're going to put on Margs. Yeah. Margs thinks he's a top chef. I don't know if you lot know this. But yeah, we're going to test Margs with HelloFresh now because he is a connoisseur. I'm going to whip something up. He does home. believe in quality. He has made an order. He has got a, a box coming to his house. What we'll do is I'm going to go home. I'm going to whip it up and I'll show you that how to use the the whole thing. Can you take can you take the credit for it if you whip up a hello fresh? Of course. No, you can. It's, it's still nice. No, I, I, I whip up hello freshes. Like so. <laughs> well, listen. Hello fresh is, is super super simple and we've got an offer, a filthy offer. You click the link in the description uh, and you'll get 60% off your first box, 25% off your next eight boxes or 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 you can use the code fellas60 on hellofresh.co.uk or you can uh, use the QR code that we're going to put over Geordie's face right now. Better, better version of Geordie. <laughs> Man said that's a big QR code. <laughs> I said, how big is the QR code? <laughs> my face ain't bigger than my face ain't bigger than Tigos or Stevos actually. My face ain't big. I got a small face. <laughs> what? <laughs> a no? small Lips, face. You honest to me? You don't have a you don't have a big face, but you ain't got a small yeah, face. Yeah. You ain't got a small face. Yeah. But look, you you go on HelloFresh.co.uk, you select uh, how many people you're cooking for and how many recipes you want per week. So it's like two to four. How many meals you reckon you're going to be doing HelloFresh? 
um, select the kind of meals you want, mm. and they will send you prepped ingredients, packaged, boxed up, ready to go. Uh, it'll come with a little card that explains to you how to cook it, gives you pictures as well, so you're never making the wrong step anywhere in the process. Plus, I'm gonna walk you through the whole process, so. And later on the episode, we're gonna, so, we're gonna show you Marg's chefing it up with HelloFresh and giving us a review on the quality of the food. Mm. Just a reminder, you can sign up to HelloFresh by clicking the link in the description, or you can go to hellofresh.co.uk, use the code FELLAS60. You will get 60% off your first box, 25% off your next eight boxes. Sometimes they do little giveaways as well when you do orders with them. Um, or you can scan the QR code, which we're gonna put over Miles's face now. That's my whole body. What do you mean that's my whole body? That's a thin QR Rectangle code. Rectangle one. What? <laughs> what? That didn't even make no sense. Uh, either way, whatever. Boys, you know what we're going to do today? What? We're going to go through some Premier League teams and we're going to delete a guaranteed first team player. And we're going to replace him with another player. We're going to decide how you improve the big teams in this country. But I don't want to hear, oh, you take Wan-Bissaka off Man United. I think every week, as, as good as Wan-Bissaka is, it's too easy. You're going to have to delete a first team player from every team and improve them with a realistic so as in, real player. You, are you getting rid of the best the, the best player from each team, basically? Yeah. Somewhere like, somewhere around the best player, yeah. We always used to say you could probably put Thomas Muller for yeah. Firmino yeah. at Liverpool. Exactly. It was a tough one. Firmino was banging. What a player. To make them better, improve them and show something new. Where's Firmino now? Is he still... I would take, I would take Firmino at Chelsea. You would, you yeah. would take. You would take most people, though. Callum hudson and <laughs> Callum hudson Adoy is your current top goal scorer. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't ah. know. I'm back. I'm. I'm gonna be back concentrating on football this year. Before we're gonna get into that, I'm gonna introduce the panel. From your left to your right, or to your from my right to my left. Okay. From my right to my left. First up, uh, his name's PK Humble. His season's about to start. He's um. Cold his hair. Staying out of trouble, actually. I expected this summer to be a lot more trouble. He's lost weight. Troublesome. His hair's grown. Yeah. I'm growing my hair. Proud of you. He's growing, he's growing, isn't it? He was taking a step. Yeah. Across his step. That's like, the one. Yeah. Step. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> no, but. <laughs> I'm losing weight. I'm trying to get 20 goals this season. Is it? I'm chatting. <laughs> Maybe, 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 maybe 15. I was watching Frank Lampard on Diary of a CEO this morning. It's possible. Well, he said he plays like me. No, but he got goals because his dad used to throw a ball at him in the rain. My dad's only ever watched me play once in my whole life. Did you play good? Yeah. That's why he ain't come nah, back. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, I actually played well. No, twice actually. The, f the first time it was on TV. He watched it on BBC iPlayer. I got dragged half time. I came and ho I came home and he said, "You was a poor player today." <laughs> <laughs> hey, that one cut deep, you know. Hey. Bex on the panel. He's back from the stairs. He's representing the new black. Um, Come on. Back from the dead. Yeah. Back from the day. Yeah. He's an alleged groomer. Allegedly. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've only ever groomed anyone for greatness. Whoa. I've, I've only ever groomed anyone for greatness. So I just let that. I just want to put that out there. Anyway, his name's Margs. All right, we've got a show. We're at live September 10th, No Behaviour. Make sure you pull up. It's going to be Go epic. to Margs' Twitter, his Instagram. Anyway, click the link in my bio. Margs' TikTok? Yes, I've got a TikTok. There you go. I go. Mean, it's trash. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got a TikTok. And you know what? Bless your little cotton socks who follows me. The little, the couple hundred. Freds? I've got Freds. Freds. I've got more followers on Freds than I have on TikTok. There you go. There you go. But go find Margs and buy tickets to his live show. The plans, uh, this ain't even a joke. The plans I've got for that show are huge. And if you rate anything I've done in my life, you're going to want to be there. <laughs> anything I've ever done in my life. It's crazy. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's, true, true. <laughs> it's, true, it's true. true. It's true. I do a lot, you know. Next on the panel, someone who definitely rates what Margs did when he pulled up to a football pitch the other day. His name's Lippy Lickshaw. Also, we're not, we're not talking about that on the show. What's happened? What did you do now? Are we talking about it? <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, yeah. You know them football challenges for YouTube and them thing there. Obviously, I knew Margs was going there, but obviously Margs is at a certain time. I'm a bit later, innit? Brother, the production team called, man, 20 <laughs> minutes later, <laughs> saying, yo, can you can you pull up early? I said, yeah, but why? Like, because it was, it was local to man. Hear them. Oh, Margs has injured himself in, 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 the, in the warm-up. I told my quads. <laughs> in the, what? 
in the warm oh you're falling apart that's <laughs> facts <laughs> snooze is a bad idea i told my quad boys i'm not even gonna lie i'll tell you that trauma the response everything that happened to me is after i told my quad bro I, if, if i didn't injure myself i don't think i would have went to the hospital i'm not even joking i was in a bad way bro I just realised you said, you didn't say bury me in the strip for dead. What's scared of you? Scared or something? <laughs> 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 hey, that's one of the funniest things you ever said. <laughs> Mad thing though. Still ain't said it. Yeah, he said <laughs> it. Still ain't said it. <laughs> hey, real strip for Ender. <laughs> <laughs> Change that, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yo, man, that's a remix to Ting. Yo. Anyway, oh, his name's Lippy. Lick oh. shot. Yeah, <clears throat> man. Catch him out and about. He's all over the place. Never less than a seven. Next on the panel, we got a man that announced last week that he's going on tour with Pusha T. Of course he came, man. Wait, if we don't clap that, are you joking me? This guy's been going at it. Like he's been head down. grinding. Yeah, man, grinding. Do you think he's gonna talk to you? Or do you think he's gonna be? A I've met him. He's a nice guy. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to him. <laughs> yeah, exactly, mate. This is it. Go for it. You know that means I'm not friends with Drake now, isn't it? Basically. Yeah. Not necessarily. Are they really at each other still? Like, what? I don't. Okay. Uh, his name's Jordy. His name's Jordy, not Jordan, mum. Yes. Talk to me, important man. They say his one, but not your one. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, next on the panel we got next on the panel we got Steve O, the Madman, who again, you know, he's just always a, a level of quality. And he was downstairs eating a chip wrap. Um, and he's what? got something. Chip can I, can wrap. Can I ask him an important question? Yes. Um. Arsenal fans, what are you looking at, bruv? You're right. Because what's going on? I want to know about the chip rap, bruv. What's going on, blood? How you call that? You say that, boy. <laughs> the chip rap <laughs> had you. And then you said Arsenal, so it, it intensified. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Arsenal fans, obviously, worldwide, everything filthy. I've been, uh, I ain't going to lie to you, but I made a couple of bets with you guys last season. First bet I want to um, pay is the debt to you. If it's 50 pound, give it me. So he's paying? No, I promised him an Arsenal shirt. Oh, look at that. So I got him an Arsenal shirt. What a guy. That's yeah. incredible. Oh, wow. With Oh, wow. Wiles. Oh, look at that. On what the back. A, what yeah. a guy. With his favorite player, Emil Rose Smith. Is that his name? Yeah, 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 yeah that's it. Um, <laughs> Fur camp, yeah, so that's for you. And I owe you money. You do. Have you got 50 on you? Yeah, I bought cash out today. Hey, Miles. Miles. No, Did Miles. You have a, te a turn of change. So, what? You didn't win no bets? No, you lost, you lost no, 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 no. You lost bro. everything. Oh, look. I owe you a fiver, yeah? Is that right? That's fine, bro. Marks, man. You got to pay your bets. I love that. You Miles. Know. Hey, Miles. Like, seriously. Run my money, bro. I'll run, I'll run your bread. Next episode. There you go, though, boys. And yeah, Arsenal fans, up yours, man. Yeah? Steve, <laughs> the man, man. Up yours. Up, up yours. I'm old school. Up yours I'm old school. <laughs> Up yours. Next on the panel, we got a man who's under immediate pressure to pay his debts. Is that, does that say Illuminati? Immediate pressure to pay his debts. It does say, it says Illuminati. Bro. No, it says Illuminati. Mm -hmm. Oh, Illuminati. Illuminati. Might as well say Illuminati. Yeah, my boy's brand, man. Good hat though. Isn't that what they do like in university in America? Alumni, yeah. Something like that. Alumni, alumni, yeah. What is that though? It means he graduated that year. Who's he got a debt to? Me. How much? What is it for? 50 quid. For what? That. Gabby? Gabby wouldn't get 15 league goals. <laughs> what, what was that though? You, you was body popping, were you just talking? <laughs> we have to be patient with ah, him, sorry, Jordy. Sorry. <laughs> I was remembering where it was. <laughs> uh, he's mash. <laughs> he's mash. So that, 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 that facial expression, I'm guessing, was uh, people pay me my debts, I don't pay their debts. No, just the expression was not under pressure, that's all. Moody Miles is in the house. <laughs> the Moody Diva's son. <laughs> <laughs> Apple don't fall far from the tree. <laughs> Jesus. His name's Miles. He's got a new Arsenal shirt. And he's working for Arsenal. He worked for Arsenal last week, didn't he? Working for Arsenal now as well. Put it on. Let me take this off. Uh, I'll wear it next week. Let me take this off. <laughs> I'll wear it next week. <laughs> Man's not dressing you, you know. <laughs> Relax. That's crazy. Uh, Welcome to the show, Miles. Thanks, man. Wiles, aka Best Looking Guy on YouTube. Energy, energy. 
Last but last but not least on the panel, we got uh, a city boy whose energy levels somehow remain in the green. So, yeah, I'm knackered. Yeah, I'm not surprised. He's putting on a brave face. He's putting on a brave face for the crowd. He's um I'm going back inside. I don't know if he, yeah, I don't know if he knows who plays for Chelsea today. He's got a few weeks to get for, get <laughs> yeah, refreshed. I've got, yeah, I'm gonna this year. I'm going to pay attention to football because I believe that we're going to be back. I believe that. And uh, yeah, you know, boxing can sit on the back burner for now, I guess. When was the last time you updated your name? So I, so we need a new one. You've been Savage Dan for a long time. Was it? Sensible Dan. After, uh, in two weeks, Sensible Dan. Do you still feel savage? Yeah. Nah. I've been tamed, man. Yeah, but it is who you are, though, so just keep it as that. <laughs> Bro, where's this guy come from today? What the f is going on with me? <laughs> See, <it's something> done. <laughs> Can't just change your name, go by Daniel now or something. That don't work. Your name's I've never done. called you Daniel. Anyway, welcome back to the show. Dan wearing Thanks. Crocs. Yeah, he's, a, yeah, he's Croc yeah, Dan. Crocs. Uh, yeah, Croc, Croc Dan. Yeah. Croc Dan. 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 Croc Dan. 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 <laughs> I got excited. I was got excited. You had a name. You had a one. You had one. Doesn't matter. It doesn't, doesn't hit for everyone. Yeah, it yeah, yeah. Hit for everyone. Yeah, yeah. It's not meant to hit for everyone. Oh, who put me on this table, bro? Yeah, that, 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 that table is going crazy. That table is going crazy. This table's gone mad. Well, you got half a table there. There's one. Just someone. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Come on. Fight back! Fight back! Fight back! Throw your arm. Throw them hands. You, you said throw. You said throw them hands. <laughs> yeah, well done. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? Huh? What happened? Mean, I, he's mouth. not Silly sharp. <laughs> he's not sharp today. Boys, if we could delete a player from Manchester City and improve them, who is the player? Man City. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta take the Broner out. What? Who improves City if you take the Broner out? I'm trying. I'm getting it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Land. <laughs> Who's the best midfielder in the world? De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Is it though? <clears throat> yes. Okay. I'm with you. No, I, I'm not saying I know who it is. <laughs> that <I'm on. laughs> I know who it is. It's Grealish. Oh, in the ten. It's Grealish. Oh, oh, take him out. You mean not? Not? I thought you meant putting nah, him in the ten. Take out no. Grealish from the left and put Vinny. Yeah, Vinny and Mbappe. Of course, that improves them. Oh, 100 percent. But if you was gonna take the Bruyne out. Is Jude Bellingham the one that goes no. there? Also, can I say that, that, that we got a, just between us, Vinicius Jr. and Mbappe improve every team in the world. Yeah, so, so, so let's no. leave them. Yeah, I was, was, was going to take out. I was going to take out Mares. I was going to take out Mares for Saka. Oh, Mares for Saka. I don't think that improves. I don't think though. that improves it. Of course, it does. You think? Uh, yeah, definitely. Mm. You'll take Saka over Mares. Hundred. I wouldn't. Hundred. Why not? Me neither. Not yet, not yet. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't do that one. I don't do that transaction. That makes still. them nah, hundred percent, man. But I tell you what, you take out Mares and you put Salah there. No, I Saka keep Mares and Salah in, in that city yeah. team. Yeah, and then uh, we he made an interesting point there. He said, "Who's he? Um, Wales." Okay. If uh, Mars would do. Probably a little attitude on him. He's had a bad day. Something you had a fight on the train again. But he made a good point. I was gonna say. Um, that uh, are we are we dealing with the fact that Pep could, would improve Saka? Are we saying that, or is it just straight in out? Nah, it's just in out, in out. Yeah, the day to day, like the, the season starts tomorrow. I did make a good point. He just moved. He's just doing his barometer. Who, I don't. Who's who's even going to be on the right for them next season? Well, that's a great question. Bernardo Silva. Yeah, he ain't moving until he's he ain't moving until he's moved, mate. Sorry, uh, Phil Foden. I'm not having it. I want to see Foden do ten. But when, like, what I'm saying, when does he become? 10, is it like, are we talking 27, 28? I don't think he is a 10. No. I mean, he's just no. too I don't think there's many 10s in a league. I don't know, man. He did a lot of his career in false nine. Like, he, he's so obviously capable of playing there, but when they don't really play a 10. I, yeah, I was about to say, I don't see a lot of t systems with 10s. So, I don't watch Arsenal enough to know this, but Odegaard, right? Yeah. You do, you do watch us enough. <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> so, for me, for me, he like, so I, 
I look at him and he plays like how a 10 used to play, right? But he's not playing in a 10 position, is he? Okay. okay he's not really playing like how a 10 used to play. He's just very creative. That's on the ball always. With the ball. I say a 10 used to be that you dictate through a 10 a lot of the time, right? He is a 10. If it like 10's like a position, it's like it's what you are, like for me, regardless of where you play. I'm, so, I'm happy with that. You get me? It's, yeah. it's what you are, bro. But you are, he is an eight, but, and like, but like Bruno Fernandes ain't a 10. Can you 10 it through from any position? Well, no. now you can. Now, now no. you can. Because Chelsea would go with two sixes and then two tens. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you can temper any position. So a six, a six, a six can be a six, a deep line playmaker, which is a six, yeah. and but you wouldn't call him a ten. But I would call like Mount a ten, even though he doesn't play from a ten. Eight. Eight. He's, a, he's an eight. eight. He's not a eight. wide he's a player. Great eight as well, by the but way. He's, but he's but he's not really an eight. That's a he is, eights are kind of getting he's lost in nowadays. between an a, eight and a ten. If we're being honest. All right, but I, I don't I don't agree with Saka. So do we have another interesting? But everyone else does. Not everyone does. <laughs> I'm gonna slap him up, you know. No, yeah, he's. I <laughs> no, but he's the majority. He's no, yeah, yeah. the one. Saka's the one. R Rodrigo. Who else is there then? Rodrigo is not better than Saka. Not yet. Oh. Nah, he's, he, he is. No, but he's not. I just, I just no, he's not. Why are we doing that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Gundogan's gone. Yeah. yeah. So Kovacic is in. Yeah. So you take Kovacic out and someone in now. But there's got to be a better option. Musiala. For... Wow, I like that. Bellingham. Bellingham's, uh, to me, but that balance wise, Rodri, Bellingham, De Bruyne? No. Silly. Do we not nah, like that shout though? Nah, that definitely works, bro. Kamavinga. That works better for me. You playing left back? No, I'm, I'm putting him in the middle where he should actually be. All oh, right. Yeah, but he's not going to get as much goals as Gundi. Musiala will. It's hard to improve City. Well, Kovacic yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. won't now. Uh, no, yeah, that's why I say he said that he's the improvement for Gundi. It's hard to say that Real Madrid's left back would improve Manchester City's midfield. As much as I rate Kamavinga at this I point in time. I rate as the best midfielder last year in the league. Yeah, but we're not talking about Gundogan now. We're talking about Kovacic. Yeah, yeah but you're also talking about Real Madrid's left back. What about my man? The inter boy. What's his name? Barella. Barella, yeah. Nico nah. Barella. Oh, in, in a couple of years, he's definitely that, yeah. I think Barella, if anything, replaces Kevin De Bruyne. Because he's more more advanced. Nah, but in that system, he won't be, I don't think. It's got to be one of the two wide men if you're, that you're going to replace. Really. It's the right wing, It's got to be man. the right wing, It yeah. is. That's the, the only, right that's the only position that no one the whole season put a stamp on it. Dan knows, Dan's like an encyclopedia of players in the current world, so he's going to tell us another right winger right now. Um, let me think of a, a top one. Yeah, go on. <laughs> think of just the top ones. There's one at Chuck. No, there isn't, actually. It's gone. Mudrick? I think United took one when they got. Uh, I'd probably. I, I would leave Morris. I think he's the best. Right no, 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 no. That's not. <laughs> 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 I would leave Morris over there. I'd take Grealish. I think. Okay. I'd, I'd, yeah. I think Morris is better on that side than right, Grealish. So who are you replacing side. Grealish with? There's only one person you can replace him. Who? Who? I'll say Rashford. Nah. Rashford doesn't improve City. He's. Over Grealish, it does. Not the way, not the way they play. Yeah, Kavar yeah. That one, yeah. That one. That one. That's the one. That's the one. He's a City player, bro. Is he better than Grealish? He will be in that Does he system. get a lot of goals? More than, more than Grealish, I think. Yeah, because, yeah, then you're doing like for like. Nah, but he's like, for me, he's more, he's more direct, like, more like. Yeah, to improve them, I think you've got to go on the right. Yeah, it's got to be on the right. But who is it? Is Saka better? It has that to be saying? Saka. It has to be Saka. Saka got, like, I didn't ask that. Saka got like 15 goals off the right last season. I think you have to pick Saka. Saka over Morris, though. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Saka definitely outscored him this season, though, innit? Well, there's that and the fact that Pep, um, sometimes he just sits Morris out. I don't think Saka will get that. He'll probably be a consistent right winger. has got a good combination with um, Haaland now, so you don't, you don't want to disrupt yeah, that. Yeah, he just does the... Yeah, the one twos. Dink. Yeah, man. It's Saka. It's Saka. So I think it's Saka. It's Saka. Saka improves Man City. Of course. There's only one right winger in the, in the, in the league that's better than Saka. And it's, it's Salah. That's it. Oh, we've, we literally voted Mahrez in the last right winger draft. Do you think if Mahrez was in the Arsenal team, do you think he'd be, he would have carried us to, to a title surge? Mm. Oh, title surge. <laughs> To a, a title surge. <laughs> <laughs> Carried us to a title surge. <laughs> Carried us to a title surge is crazy. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the show, Specs. Specs, because we're at an impasse. I like that word. If you could delete one player from Manchester City and replace them with a player that improves them immediately, no one, and not like... Nathan Ake, like a player that is certainly going to be in their team next year. Who is it going to be? And who are you replacing him with? I think we put up Rodri, man. What? And put in who? Mikel Antonio said it, man. System players. Declan Rice. 
<sighs> Specs, you need to finish Land. this. Land. You don't take out Rodri. You, you, could, you could take it, Audrey. Yeah, you can. No, no, you can't take him out. You can take him out. You can't get a better but, one of him in there. Huh? You can't get a better one of him yeah, in there. Yeah, you have to improve them. Not who could they survive without. How do you better that team? Well, you've misplaced your first pass on the pitch. Right. <laughs> 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 he didn't even control the ball. He didn't even control Oi, the ball. The, ref, the, start, the gaffer's warned you now. Margs gave you time to warm up. Forget Margs, but he's arguing with someone. <laughs> um, Got a hole in his boot. You can't mash up the you can't mash up the algorithm of this table, bro. Honest, oh, who's that? Deza. Who cares? Uh, honestly, like if I'm playing football manager, me personally, if I'm playing football manager, I'm taking out Rodri and bringing in someone like Conor Gallagher. That's me personally. If you're asking me. All right, I'm glad <laughs> we wasted our time there. <laughs> Let's vote. <laughs> Saka, for Mares, PK. Yeah, but that's an improved city, does it? It doesn't, it doesn't improve it. So don't vote, vote no then. Yeah, I am voting no. I already said I'm not on the board. I'm not on this board. Specs, Saka for Mahrez. Makes no difference for me. Okay, Lippy. I think it makes them better, but I think there's a, the left, the left is, is more important. Yeah, I think. Kavar okay, Skelia. so we'll, we'll go back to Kavar Uh Jordi, Saka for Mahrez. Yeah. Just. Steve-O? Yeah. Can I give a little quick reason in this? Just purely because, <laughs> purely because, not because I feel, uh, Mar is one of my favorite players, mate. Best touch in the league. But I just think the streak that um, Saka's on right now, you get him like, he's just. I'm with you. I, just it, I think he plays more. Miles, Saka, Dan? No. Okay, quickly. Kovarec, Gellia for Grealish, oh, that's PK. Just, that's just yeah. foolishness. Specs? No, no, no way. Lippy? Yeah. Jordi? Steve-O? Miles? No. Sa I Dan? prefer it, I prefer it. Okay, well, it looks like Saka is going to Manchester City in this scenario. Kane and Saka improve City. Boys, you got to delete a first team guaranteed Arsenal player and replace him to make them better. Who is it? I'm, I'm saying you get rid of Jesus. Of course. That's easy. Um, and Realistic. You, and realistically, Harry Kane wouldn't go Arsenal. No. Okay. Um, oh, uh, the Nigerian at Napoli. Osh Oshman. Oshman. Not realistic. Okay, what? but it's not realistic. He's not coming. You're playing FIFA, Steve. Manchester, Manchester City can take any player in the world and we deleted Vinicius Jr. and Mbappe. So when we talk about Arsenal, scale that down another level. RC men's not realistic for Arsenal. Why is it not realistic though? Why is it not realistic? They're asking for like 150 mil for him. Like. Yeah. And we paid 100, we paid 100 for Declan. He, support, he supports Man U. Whatever's going on with RC men, and my prediction is that he'll probably end up at Paris Saint-Germain for a stupid amount of money. That's when we're talking about realistic. And when Arsenal are in bidding wars with PSG, it's not realistic. I think, I think the person to replace Jesus would be realistically is Ivan Toni. So skip half a season. So what does Ivan Toni, Ivan Toni's got everything that Vlahovic has gotten more in the Premier League. I don't think none of them. I don't think none of them make think Arsenal it, better. Yeah, I don't think Jesus actually can play. Like he makes them pop. Yeah, but we need we need goal. We need a goal. Yeah, but he, he was banging goals this nah, season. Well, like you lot was you lot were on smoke for half the, for nah, most nah, of the nah, season. Nah. He was, but we need a goal scorer. I don't know, a goal scorer. I love it. They hate their striker now. No, nah, we don't hate our we don't hate our score a goal scorer. I don't think it's, I don't think it's him. So tell me someone realistic then, because Ivan Tony as a striker, Ivan Tony is the one that's out there now that's gonna bang goals in the Premier League, and he's he's prem proven. Party. I was gonna say that. They've already done that. They did both their comrades. You know what I think? Martinelli. Yeah. Well, I would Kamaras go with that. Elia. From Mitoma. Mitoma, Mitoma, Mitoma. You think Mitoma does more for Arsenal yeah. than I Martinelli? Do. I do, I do. But I think that Ashfili. Kavatskelia. Yeah, man. That's not realistic either, though. M M Mitoma's realistic and he improves Mitoma Arsenal. does not improve Arsenal. I think he does. Martinelli. He I doesn't. think he's better than Martinelli. Mitoma's cold. Oh, let, me, uh, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Who's better? Martinelli or Mitoma? In your opinion? Right now, Martinelli. Uh, because Ma Ma Matoma's Stats a better proof. footballer, but Martinelli is more effective. Exactly. Man. Definitely. I would, I would not swap Matoma for Martinelli today. Nowhere near, nowhere near, no. nowhere near, nowhere near. I like him, but I wouldn't swap him right now. Do you think he's that? Do you think he's that? I, I don't know. I think he's a bit scatty. Who, Matoma? Or oh, no, Martinelli. Martinelli. Nah, he's very scatty, but he's just, he's, he's too effective, bro. Jesus for Isak. Mm, yeah, maybe. What's the difference between Isak and Ivan Tony? <laughs> What's the difference between Isak and Ivan Tony? Yeah, that That's not realistic. No, it's not realistic, you're right. Not realistic. You don't think a striker in the Prem? Because you, you really could have done with a striker last Who year. Who though? Who? Anyone that will realistically come to Arsenal that's a striker will not improve us. I've got it. I've got it. I've got Wait, it. Wait, how about this one? Oh, go on. You got, I've got one. 
Jonathan David? No. No. I was going to say Evan Ferguson. Evan. Evan, Evan. Evan Ferguson. No. Oh, well, from, no. from Brighton. Yeah. And I thought he's a man United. Like Fergie would have signed him up all day long if he was at United, um, still at United. Why is that not realistic? Because he's too we young. Won't, we won't get him. We just won't. I don't think we'll go for a strike. Well, if you like can that, get that. Rice, why are you lot saying things ain't realistic? No, like the of this world. You just signed the best midfielder the way in the we world. Play, we won't go for him. Um, Arsenal go 2 0 up against Liverpool, uh, end of the season. One player got spun, twisted, ripped upside down, and flipped Zinchenko. inside out. Do Arsenal need a new left back? Yeah, but again, who? All these left backs, they're just like, they're just, they're just really <laughs> good at going forward. Really, really good at going forward. Realistic one as well. Ake. Take Instant Ake. improvement. Ivan Tony. Brother, you know what? Ebue, you're back on. <laughs> what would I do? We just did just 20 minutes it. on Ivan Tony. I was in here. Well, Ivan Tony can't improve Arsenal day one because he can't play for months. Yeah, but we did Saka to Man City. That's not happening. So we're doing hypotheticals. But he can we? play day one. Yeah, but so, no, but he's not playing day one because he's not playing for uh, for City, is he? He's playing for Arsenal day one. Pardon? Is he going to play? Yeah, Arsenal? so we're doing so Ivan Tony do day one. So, 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 so we might as well not play this game then. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Man, so you got to play for day one. It's so hypothetical. Let's improve a team from day one by swapping one player. Ivan Tony, you can't play for four months. So how's that? That is the antithesis of the game. Oh, okay, cool. Um, All right. Well, we might as well just. Because we're doing Matoba for Martinelli. But Xhaka's you, gone you and Party's gone. Party we need a midfielder. But you have just replaced Xhaka. No, Ramsdale, Ramsdale. Ramsdale is shaky. Nah, nah, nah. Ramsdale is shaky. I'm not having that. <laughs> then Havertz, we're replacing Havertz again. For Casado then. In the same window. Because that's realistic. He can't play in the eight. I don't know who's buying, who bought Havertz to play in the eight. So you don't think, we could buy another centre midfielder, 100%. I'm saying if you bring Casado in for Jorginho, you improve Arsenal. That's what I'm saying. But that's like if you take away Ramsdale, though, you improve Arsenal as well. Boys, come on, it's a striker. So we've got to think of striker options. We have. It's a striker, bruv. I personally think, I said this in the group earlier, if Arsenal sign Romelu Lukaku, as wild as that is, 30 goals. No way. Do you know what? I don't what? know, man. I don't know. <laughs> so did you, wait, 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 what did you just say? Lukaku? Yeah. Nah, man, that's not um, realistic. Listen. Jesus is good for Arsenal. Like I don't think you try and replace him. Bang. Okay, he said Ivan Tony, yeah. What about Lukaku now? You're you're a mess. How am I a mess? You're, you're, I'll ask you. What about no, Lukaku? I'll take Ivan Tony. I'll take Ivan Tony over Lukaku. Right, well, what, are you what, what are you saying? No, I'm saying Lukaku. But if you're a mess, you said Matoma over Martinelli. You're a mess. Yeah, but because Dan Dan agrees with me. <laughs> no one else. No one. Tell, who agrees with Martinelli? He said Ivan Tony. There you he go. said Ivan Tony. Who? He said Ivan Tony. He was outside at the bus of arguing. With a bus driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not my best candidate. What about Zin Zinchenko for Hernandez? Oh, Hernandez is shocking. What, from AC Milan? Milan? He's shocking. That's worse. Makes us worse. Is it not? I think Zinchenko is a better left back than Camavinga is anyway. I'm not sure. I don't think so, you know. You already know. Dan Burner, Arsenal. Better than Zinchenko. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It's serious. It's still a joke. Rice and Cachedo works. Of course. And it can happen. So who, so who are you taking out? Uh, Jorginho. But they, they, you can use a starter. Right, but they've just spent £100 million on a midfielder. I think letting them have another midfielder is a bit like... No, we can still get Casado. the spirit though. of it. Because if we sell Party and then we sell Lokonga, which we're looking to do, we've got the money there for Casado. No, don't sell Lokonga. Why? Just loan him out. That's what they, no, no, that's Experience. what they're looking to do. How do you know, how do you know they're looking to do that? Because it's, that's, he's, they've, he's not on the... On the you don't on the hear tour. TV transfer news. He's not on not the tour. He's not on the tour. Forget oh, them. He's not okay, on the tour. Okay. He's not on the tour. You know Bab's transfer news is not. <laughs> I don't choose that. Oh, I'm just joking. Cool. <laughs> he's not on the tour, so. We're struggling, you know. You know, we did this game in like 2020 and it was quite easy. Yeah, oh, so why not have Ivan Tony? Because he's on the ban. Okay, so he's definitely out of it then, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what we're doing here, he's definitely yeah, out but of the, it. The, the band, but the band, <laughs> we're doing a hypothetical I'm, game. I, I'm, you know what is, Miles? I'm thinking about Champions. I can't see Ivan Tony scoring against Rapid Vienna. First game in the groups. I can't see it. No, it, at Rapid Vienna, though. Yeah, why not? I just can't see it. It's just. Are Rapid Vienna a Europa League? I, I, team? It's never you know what I mean, though. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think Ivan Tony gets 15 goals for Arsenal. Easy. That's not good enough. In the Prem. That's in not the good Prem. enough. That's two more than Jesus. That's not good no, enough. No, I said easy. That's easy. Not That's not enough. the whole season. That's easy. All right, so what does he get? What does he get not easy then? So what, what, what would he do for the full season then? Uh, Ivan Tony at Arsenal, I, I say 20 goals. Why did you give easy. us half a season? All right, boys, I got it. I got it. I got it. We'll keep Gabriel Jesus and we'll replace Martinelli 
with Federico Chiesa for Juventus, and that is realistic. That's not, but that doesn't improve uh, us. That doesn't improve similar. us. I'm, I'm thinking them the similar Chiesa, players. Chiesa Martinelli. No, you lot no, are trying to get the big shot. You lot are trying to land the you heavy haven't, shot. You haven't actually had a shot. I had a shot. I told you, <laughs> you Ramsdale, said get Ramsdale, bro. Ramsdale. Yeah, but you have to replace him with someone. Go. The Nigerian you, Onyanyan. He's going by United. Oh, yeah. He's going. He hasn't gone yet, bro. Oh, you mean the skip to one? Me. Yeah. The skip to one? No, no, not the skip to one. A man got me there, boy. Not the skip to one. Oh, no, no, probably does improve Arsenal. He does. But, get, but I don't think that's a need for them, though. What does he save us? Like five points? Okay. Cool. That is the difference. Very much so the difference. Well, Ivan Tony gets us the five points. There's a difference. He gets us six. So I'd rather take that. <laughs> I'd rather take that. What about Liao? Rafael Liao instead of Martinelli improves nah. Arsenal. I think when he touches down in London, he's going to go studio with Abs. He's going to go link. He's going to go do another kick game. He ain't going to concentrate. Arteta's going to go and... Yeah, but Arteta's is making everyone get married. He just might make him get married. Mm -mm. There ain't no one guessing him to get married. He's a city boy. Ah, oh, boys, I've got it. Go on, tell me. Yes, I knew I got it. Take out Martinelli and put Serge Gnabry. No. What? Ooh. What is this? Nah, I think Martinelli's upside so high, but Gnabry would might improve him day one though. That Gnabry might improve him day is one. Class. Gnabry two seasons okay, ago. Okay, Sonny. Not now. Two seasons ago. You you hate Martinelli though. Of course, I would need him out, bro. Anything to get him out. Oh, Mane's going for 17 million, he'll do it. Mane's going for 17 million, he'll do it. Marty. Mane. 17 or 70? 17. Oh, Sadio Mane. Mane would improve Arsenal tomorrow, bro. No, nah, but Martinelli's, you're acting as if he doesn't imp like Stop he doesn't. being so emotional. Improve them tomorrow. Hey, logic and emotions, just try and separate the both. For you. You'll be a great man. It's a striker. <laughs> It's a striker. It's not our wingers. Our wingers got 15 Sadio apiece. Mane, how many goals did he score for Liverpool from the wing? Pardon? And, and when was that? When was that? Because you said tomorrow. And that was, two, that, was that last oh, season. Oh, he got you. <laughs> he got I don't, you. I don't think Sadio Mane, I don't, I don't think Sadio Mane turned into a bad player overnight. Oh, is it? Yeah, nor do I. I don't, One I don't season, think he turned, yeah. in, he 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 turned into the Liverpool one overnight. because Mane improves Arsenal. Awesome. Because he didn't at Bayern Munich, did he? What about Lewandowski then? He's not available. Right. Well, Lewandowski for Gabriel Jesus improves him tomorrow. It's not realistic. It's more than realistic at Barcelona. Lewandowski at Barca, he would die to come to us now. So if he wants strikers, why don't you go at Oshman? Oh, I'll go just <laughs> sit this one out. I want to sit this Oshman one out first. That's not realistic. So why is he not that? <laughs> guys, on. guys, just just to update you, um, we're gonna need Margs to go and eat something because his blood sugar is low. So you're gonna now see what it was like when Margs cooked Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh. Package has landed. So we're about to make some tacos now, yeah? Bear with me. Wow. Marks, how was it? Sensational, man. Well done, man. You should have cooked with your clothes on, though. I don't know why you did. <laughs> that's a nice dress. That's a nice dressing robe. I'm gonna give you a wild card here. There's a, the fourth top goal scorer in the Gold Cup has got one of the best names I've seen for a football player, Patrick Burner. That's cold. He's from what Mar about Martinique? What about um, League One's top goal scorer? Who's League One's top goal scorer? Oh, like is it? <laughs> he was like, it's like I said. I know who there's a player for Lens. Ah, the Nepal. Called Hervin Orgenda. You don't know him? Oh my god, oh, don't, he's a he's a he's a third wonder kid though. That's it, Appenda. Appenda, isn't it? Appenda will prove you improve you like, instantly. Lens, Lens, the yeah, Lens, yeah. Striker. Appenda will do it instantly. What about Dominic Calvert Lewin? Nah. What? Thought, you might as well say Ollie Watkins as well then. No, Ollie what that's not a bad shout, man. That that's who realistic. Arteta wanted. That's who Arteta wanted. I don't, now, we're, now, look, now we're cooking, man. Ollie Watkins yeah, needs to be where yeah, we're now looking. We're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're, now we're chefing up HelloFresh. We're chefing. Yeah. Ollie Watkins is better than Ivan Tony, bro. Is he? I don't know. What do you mean, that. is he? Ollie Watkins up front. He, I think he improves. I think he would improve Arsenal, though. More than Jesus. I like Jesus. I feel like, I feel like Ollie Watkins scores goals at Arsenal. I can't goals do that galore. to I can't do that to Jesus. G Gabriel Jesus showed up to a game one day. And Pep said, I want to play a left back up front. But he battered Saliba, man. 
He batters Saliba, bro. Alright, well, let's make the decision. Let's I'm, vote. I'm PK, no. remember, it has to be a striker. I'm has to be a striker. I'm Glazers out. Has to be a striker. PK, who's the striker? Watkins. Margs. Watkins. Pete Only Watkins. Watkins. Lukaku. Lukaku, I'm with you. Jordi. Lacazette. Watkins. Well, Watkins, well, Evo, No, no, Miles. no, no, no. You can't do that, bro, man. He just said Lacazette. <laughs> Why are you so angry for it? Miles. <laughs> Tony. Dan. I'd go lower. What? I'd go Lewandowski on a. On Lewandowski. A... Okay, so it's Oli Watkins. We've just put Oli Watkins at Arsenal, boys. That means I've got one one goal in this game. Manchester United, you got to replace one proper first team player, not one of those nonsense ones. Ericsson. Ericsson. Ericsson's been replaced by Mason Mount, so go again. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. You who's, don't replace. Who's their number nine at United? They need a striker. They don't have a number nine. Marshall. Too easy. Oh, no, boys. Where's he from? Man United. United no, nah, forget. Sorry, Dan. Man United need a centre back. You don't need a centre back. Right wing. No, they need a centre back. Got they need centre someone backs. Who, who's their centre backs? Varane and Martinez. Varane is not good. Aye, finally. I've been saying Varane's not good for a time. Varane and Martinez had a great run when last Va year. When Varane's next to Martinez, he's very good. Football, to be fair, to be fair, for me, it's Anthony or Varane. I think Varane needs to go, boys. Varane needs to go, man. Uh, Manchester United need a right winger. So we're replacing Anthony. Morris. But is that realistic? Morris loves Manchester. He's not leaving that place. What about Kulisewski on the right? Ooh, I hear that still. I hear that. I hear that. I didn't like him. I, that's not realistic. But yeah, I did. I, Why is it not realistic? Because he, he just signed. Just signed, just signed. That, that does not make it unrealistic. He's Why been not? there for 18 months. If Tot, if Tot, yeah, they had to. It's contractual. If Tottenham want to rebuild and they're not going to sell Harry Kane and they need money to uh, buy players, selling a player like Kulisewski. That's unfair because they're not. They're, that's unrealistic. They're not selling. I disagree. Kulisevsky. that It's unrealistic. He's just signed. So did Benton Core, but it's a new, it's a new manager. The deal, the deal, the deal to bring Kulusevski to Tottenham was three managers ago. I'm not gonna lie, we're moving like United are cold, you know. We could we could play we could replace about six men. It is their right wing. Their right wing is weak. I don't think it's weak. I it think we started coming on. It's weak. It's Casemiro, boys. <laughs> what? You need a more a more possession. Player the guy don't six. get sent off. That you don't can think be there so? for the test of it. Nah. I would say if you said. Like Joe Kim Anderson, straight to that Man United team. Ah, that don't improve them. That don't improve Man United. I think everyone thinks Casemiro is this like proper GG. Like he can be replaced. I think he can be replaced, but I think there's their right wing needs to be replaced. Why are you looking, what's, yeah, what's happening there? Why are we taking like Casemiro? Casemiro's just had his first season in the Prem. Everyone knows well. midfielders coming over from Spain. That it is a, it is a season. He done well. He done well. But he's 31, 30, Was he thirty one? I definitely think he'll be better next year. Marks, um, I thought Anthony started second half of the season from like when they scored against Charlton in the FA Cup. I know it's poorer teams, but he started scoring a few important goals, no? And he started improving. He started looking like, I remember the first half of the season, he didn't even like it sprint. Second half, he started sprinting. And, and, and it was his first season. I definitely think you got improvements from Anthony. I'm looking I around even... the world, where are you getting a better winger than him, a right winger than him? I got, I got a right winger for them. Go on. Um, Pepe, Pepe. Pepe improves Arsenal. I mean, Man United. Pepe, yeah, Pepe improves Arsenal. We can ignore him. We can ignore him. We can ignore him. He's having a tear. He's having a tear. I can't do it, man. I can't. can't do it. What, do what, what do you mean? You said Pepe improves Arsenal. Man United. Man United. But he doesn't even improve. Come on, bro. Come on. Of course he doesn't improve Arsenal because we've got Saka. Now, now you need Pepe, though. Pepe's a, Pepe's a good signer for you. All right, one second. Let me just call the stroke doctor. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, you, are you having one? Is this how it starts? He's got his number. <laughs> He's got his number? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Favourites, what? <laughs> All right, let's say, because it, it's tough, because the strike situation, the goalkeeper situation look like they're being solved. The right-back situation, who knows what's going on. Alex Tellers, I we think We did try to sign Kim Min Jae, though. Yeah, exactly. But you that would have yeah, stunk, yeah, you know? Yeah, you did. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you did. I think he would have stunk. But like, if, if it's a, ima let's imagine it's a midfielder. Is it Bruno Fernandes? Yes. I love Bruno Fernandes. For who? I don't think you improved him. He's right. If we're going midfielder, then it's Casemiro then, for real. It has yeah, to be Casemiro. It has to be It can't be Mount. Casado. 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 That's Does he realistic. improve it, though, though? Specs reckons Joshua Kimmich. I like that. Kimmich is well, cold. I like it a lot. Kimmich is cold. I think, yeah. if, I think if you got Kimmich in your midfield, like you got, you need a madness. He's German, man. That man are robust naturally. All right, look, we need to get somewhere, so let's just pick a left back. Right back, right back, right back. Because Luke Shaw's good enough. For a run. Give them Max Aarons, oh. man. Hakimi. Ooh. Oh, Cancelo. 
Ah, does that improve it? We just seen what he does. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, of, course, but, what, what, of course, he does. He's a good player. What yeah, not the way they play. Man United's the defense. Manchester United have the most offensive right back in the league right now. And when they brought him in, when when they brought the most offensive right back in the league in, that's when their form started to improve. To me, if you start talking about bringing in a right back with no defensive capabilities or limited defensive capabilities, you're not saying the life like replacement. You're talking about improvement. You're actually saying expose them. Hmm. But it depends yeah. on the system that Tony Hogg wants to play, though. How about this? Main United improved tomorrow with Dan's favourite player, Seamus Coleman. He can go to the world time and time again. It's the best flip I've ever seen. It's the best. It's the best flip I've ever seen. Yeah. Ah, but if let's be honest, yeah. Do you think you can win the league with a left back like Luke Shaw? Probably not. Yeah. I mean, and that's what I'm saying. We haven't up to now. I so. think you can with Hernandez on a system thing. What's Shaw? Twenty? What's Shaw? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, like we're going to make improvements we're probably going to win the league with him in the team he's just got a new contract <laughs> how close to the league do you believe you are I like that you know I like that so now Shaw has to win the league before he retires I think he probably will Dan what position are we doing midfield I'd go, I'd go Miles midfield what position are we doing right back steve I would have gone midfield still but if for the show right now, <laughs> as soon as he does it, I look at you. I'm you just looking at Steve on ticket, like. Um, right back, then. right back, uh, Jordy. uh, right center back. I'm Lippy. going Daz's position, man. Deep, deep line, line playmaker, deep line playmaker. Oh. missionary. Um, Mark's what position? Right back, PK, center mid. All right, it's centre mid and right back are tied, and no one's got a right back. Right so back. centre mid is the answer. James, what? not realistic. He's literally Chelsea's whole franchise. It's Cancelo, man. But yeah, no, we're doing midfield now. All right, what's, De, De Jong. De Jong, Frankie De Jong as a Ooh. DM. Ooh, that's the one they should have got. It's so the I Mount, think that's the man. Eight. And I that's like the Mount. Eight, though. De Jong, Bruno, Mount. What about Dumfries then? Dumfries. Denzel Dumfries is not a midfielder. No, I, th- oh, oh, like I thought what, we went like right back. Like Real done that. I like Camavinga centre mid. They're not getting rid of too many odds. They are. Either, are they? They're trying to fund the Mbappe thing. Ain't no one's safe in Real right now apart from Modric. Vinny. <laughs> yeah. And Jude. Yeah, obviously. that's Casado can improve United tomorrow, Miss Pilda. Casado for Casemiro. You think Casado. So, so when the midfielders episode comes around, you're going to put Casado above Casemiro? I am. But not really, but for like longevity. It won't improve them though. We'll he, be in a, is it's not than like he's a better position, but if we, if we think that tomorrow we'll be in a better position with Casado because of just longevity, yeah, well, upside. Not, we'll improve tomorrow, improve tomorrow. I think he improves United tomorrow. He can play, oi, boys, you know he can play right back too, innit? Who can? Casado. We've done two positions. Casemiro, Casado, and Mount. That's a midfield, you know. And you take out Bruno. Yeah. Bruno's the That's a midfield. He's like the lynch. Yes, he don't, bro. You probably don't he do is. much numbers. How much goals did I swear Bruno? He works hard, he scores goals, he assists. Bruno got eight and eight oh, in wow. the league. And he got 14 and 15 all comps. Oh, okay. And Granite got seven goals and- It's okay, we don't need nah, to- No, I'm, I'm just saying, exactly. I'm, just, I'm, I'm telling you for stats. There's a guy you sold for 20 million, <laughs> come on. I'm fine, bro, I got Odegaard. <laughs> Kamavinga in defensive mid. Nah. That's not realistic, and it, even if it goes there, what happened? Why not realistic? Who? Camavinga. Camavinga. That's not, that's not realistic. You don't like being at left back. You got a guy at Manchester United coming in saying, "Look, you can make this your position." He sold it to me. So who? Do, so who do you take out? I think Casemiro. Cam- yeah, Casemiro for Camavinga. I think them. Oh, I do have Camavinga, Casemiro, Fernandez. That's a beautiful midfield. But with Mount coming in. All right, well, I've, I've, I've heard a few cases being brought. Kemavinga, yeah. you made it sound good. Yeah, I like that. Frankie de Jong, you said it. I'm saying Casado. Casado, we're going to go for a PK round. PK, who is it? Manchester United's new midfielder replacing Casemiro is Kemavinga. Yeah. Margs? De Jong. Libby? Casado. De Jong. Jordi? De Jong. Which is being my favorite, boys. Wait till I say your name just because the audio listeners don't know who's talking. Steve O? Kemavinga. Miles? Casado. To the mic? Casado. Savage Dan? Casado. It's Casado. Casado for Casemiro has turned Manchester United around. We're going to do one more because otherwise we are literally going to be here football all show. day. No, football show of guys that don't know football. Who replaces, who who gets replaced at Liverpool? Liverpool's left wing for me is a bit since Mane. I know they had Diaz but he's injured. That seems like it could be. Who? 
He's right. Kavaris Gallia. Yeah, I think that's the one, boys. We've mentioned him in every team. I'm, this is the I'm, team he goes to. That would be the worst thing to happen. That would be horrible. They would be deadly. They would be so deadly. No, they wouldn't. Kavaris Gallia at Liverpool. For Klopp. Yes. Do you know why it's, it, it'll be hard to say who to replace in the midfield? Because they're all, they're all going, bruv. No, but they've signed the midfielders as well, they right? They signed two. Yeah, nah, but then they're... Fabinho's going, right? Yeah, they need a DM, but Fabinho's they need going, DM. so it's like, yeah. I think Skelly is one, though. Ah, whatever, whoever the man that stands next to Van Dijk is. I like Kanate, man. Kanate's class. Although I would replace Kanate with Mark Gay. So, who, stri also, what's the striker um, situation at Liverpool? Cody Gakpo. Cody Gakpo. Nunes playing from the wide. But I just think they don't have enough nine options, then. If Nunes is their left winger... Definitely. Who's so we, we got to get rid of Cody Gakpo then. It's Gakpo. Yeah, Gakpo's gone. You got to get rid of him. And he looked all right towards the end of the season. He looked good. He was warming still. I like, I like Gakpo. Wouldn't you be better off getting rid of Darwin than Gakpo? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Are nah, we nah, saying nah. the only player that Osh only team Osherman can sign for really, realistically, is PSG or Real Madrid? PSG, Real Madrid and Man City. And Chelsea. Not Liverpool. Chelsea. Chelsea would be in there. You're not in this, you're not in this game. I know, I'm just saying. You're a silly club. But we're in there. You're a silly club. But what's Liverpool, what's, what, Liverpool need a what do, we, what do they need? What because they need a midfield they, and they know that, that they're, so they're biding a it's whole a new midfield. But who do you take out? So it's Fabinho out, but he's if going anything, already. we should do DM for them. Kimmich, I, bro, someone I had this discussion on Twitter. Kimmich, McAllister, and who else? Curtis Jones. Nah, man. Nah, I'm not running. Nah, I'm I think you know you know well. you know Kimmich, right? He's he's tough as well. You know Kimmich, look is, it, Kimmich is quality. He's tough though. I'm telling you, yeah, Lavia next season will be maybe not better, but he's going to be entering party level. I'm telling you. Within yes to he's come, He's fake, though. bro. He's, yeah, he's dirty. Good. He's but he's dirty. not there yet. He's not there yet. The U is very, very cold, bro. He's, he's I'm telling you. He's not there yet. I'm he's telling right. you, bro. What about Paul Pogba? He improves West Ham. He's available. He he's available. He's available. He, he don't improve them, man. He could go West Ham. That'd be a, that'd be a nightmare signing. What about Verratti, deep line playmaker? No. Verratti. Past it. Have you just seen the best of him? No. Sophie and Amrabat. That's not a bad shot, you know? Yeah, that's not a bad shot. You need a, if you're talking about a certified Arthur DMF. Quality. Like, they need they, Liverpool, cause Liverpool don't need a DMF. I think that's a myth. They need legs, they need running, and they need tactical they discipline. Need, they need Kamavinga. Kamavinga would be amazing at Liverpool. All right, cool. What about, what about Jao, Paul, Jao Paulinho? Oh, Paulinho. Yeah, Paulinho. Ooh. We're looking at we the country. It. And there we have it. That is it. I don't know. That is it. No, no, that's I it. I don't know. I don't know. It, no. I'm going Lavia over him anyway. No, no, no. no. That's realistic. We're talking I mean, improve. We Come on, like. It's realistic, though. It's realistic. That's it's realistic. They, what they need is those legs. They need youth. They need energy. I think you saw what McAllister did for Brighton. You saw even what he did um, covering for Messi's lack of energy. He brings that. Soberslai again, because he's placed from the wide positions. He has crazy amounts of energy, legs. But to me, Romeo Lavia, although the injuries hurt, but he has the legs to carry I think them. Lavia, because he's, he's got it, I think he could approve them eventually over the season. I don't think he does it tomorrow. I think he does improve them tomorrow. Most men improve them. But I just think if you, if you put him in on a molding, on a clock system, brother, we, man just hope they don't get this you. I'm telling you. Polina's not Lavia. I don't not think Lavia. Not, not, not as no, good. No, Steve, tomorrow, you're right. You're right. I know because the only reason you're saying this is because he's 19. Of course. And because he just got relegated. <laughs> Couple of big ones. Genie <laughs> <laughs> Wijnaldum got relegated. Genie <laughs> Wijnaldum got relegated for Newcastle and then went Liverpool and became Genie Wijnaldum. No, but he's 19, bro. And he showed, look, he showed his qualities throughout the season, yeah, but it's not, the consistency's not there. He's still a young boy. So Miles's point. Like, He's saying, like, improve from day one. And that's, don't, don't do that. Age don't mean nothing, though, man. We're going we're gonna to vote. PK, Palina, Kone, or Lavia? Yeah, are you talking about I'm Manu Kone? Lavia. Kone is, Kone is mad. He went mad. Madness. Mugs. I want to go Manu Kone. Lippy. Because um, I want Arsenal to get Lavia, I'm going to go Paulina. That's not how it works. <laughs> 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 nah, Who improves I Liverpool tomorrow? <laughs> Still on a on a manifestation on a manifestation level. Who improves level, Liverpool tomorrow the most? You know what, Lavia. I gotta be real. I gotta Jordi. be real. I just hope Klopp don't listen to me. I'm um, right. I'm gonna go Lavia. Lavia. Uh, Paulinho. Savage Dan. Lavia. And there we have it. We'll do this again Who with other teams. Though? Oh, Lavia. Yeah, Lavia's daddy. Love him, man. I love him. The first the first time I saw that kid play football, I said, 
Nah, it's fake. fake. I was like, I'm yeah, real. He, got, he passed the eye test for me straight away. On, I was like, within like two minutes. And I didn't, I didn't see him at City. I just saw him at Southampton. I was like, he moved to us. He moved to us. He moved to us. Kids, cold. Rare talent. As Tigo just said, he says a 19 year old. He's a rare talent. Yeah, he's, he's a rare talent. That they, them ones can. Them 19 year olds can. But look, in let us know pivot. who we missed, who should be changed, and who should come in. We'll do some other teams uh, later on in the summer because it's a, it's a long preseason this year. Uh, just remember hellofresh.co.uk. Filthy 60 will get you a discount of 60% of your first order, 25% off your next eight. Or click the link in the description. What? What? Thanks for coming. Filthy5.com. Good episode, boys.